Steve Lynch of Great Plains Manufacturing. There's two things that are important to the success of every Great Plains planter, and that requires two different calibrations. One of them's a hydraulic valve cow, and one's a ground speed cow. The hydraulic valve cow is actually calibrating proportional valve to the flow and pressure of the hydraulics of the tractor that's matched to it. As a general rule, with the Air Pro planters, four and a half to six gallon a minute is what we're looking for, but we must do a calibration to that PWM valve. In order to do that, we're still on the level two, and we go into our control setup screen and our channel setup. And channel one setup, we have a valve cow screen. And what's going to happen there is, as soon as he starts the tractor up, what's going to happen is he's going to engage the hydraulics. We're set at a, somewhere around the 15, 20% on the hydraulics. And once he engages that, our channel PWM is going to get up there around 26, 28%. All meters should be turning at that point in time. And then once it starts turning, it's gonna start opening up and our channel RPM is gonna be our meter RPM. And we're gonna keep increasing the flow as it goes through that calibration process until we hit 38 to 40 meter RPM, which is our high flow target. Then it'll shut itself down and then it's calibrated. This process will be done once a season. Anytime we change hydraulic outlets or if we change tractors, you always wanna do a valve cow. Once it's doing that, and then it starts to plant, it's calibrating itself all the time. So I'll fire up the tractor here. We must have a hydraulics engaged, and our clutches must be on in order to run this valve cow. We're ready to go. Once it's done, it's going to shut itself off and it's performed the valve cow like it's supposed to. And then we're set to go and that's after we've set up our population and our target of what we're trying to plant that that is actually done. The other thing we also must do is a speed cow. And the speed cow number is done by exiting the speed set. Digital frequency is used on all of our planners. But there's actually a speed cow function that's in here. This is a constant that's entered in at the factory. We're using radar on this planter here, so when we use speed cow, we got to be in the full down field position, measure a 400 foot course. And as you start down through here, you're going to hit the start button. When you get to the end, you're going to hit the stop button. That's going to start counting up pulses here. And that count that you run through there, do it two or three times, average that, put that number in. And now we've calibrated the two most important things to make this planter go. For more on videos here, at go to greatplainsag.com. Thank you.